Hey guys, Fred here of VE3FAL from Ontario Northwest Bushcraft and Outdoors. Uh, I just put the legs on my stove uh, that we'll be taking up to the Prospector tent today. This is the Great West Metal Stove made in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Uh, all made of sheet metal. Um, this is going to go up into our prospector tent. This is what we're going to use for heat. It also has an oven on it. Here, as you can see, I just put the damper into the stove pipe. All right, five inch stove pipe. And this is what we're going to use out at the prospector tent. So this afternoon, we're going to take it up there. We're going to put some sand in the bottom. We'll burn it in slowly, burn off all this stuff off the stove pipes and off of the uh, stove and that will get it ready for next weekend's camp out our november camp out and uh, we'll be all set to go uh, we can do some you know cooking on top boil water things like that uh, we've got the oven to keep things warm if we so desire who knows uh, there's a lot of partridge up there we could uh, bake some partridge um, they're just endless opportunities so just wanted to show you guys a stove uh, again this is the great west metals uh, stove to top stove with oven and as i say i just finished putting the damper into the stove pipe and we're going to take it out to the camp today put the hole in the um put the hole into the um, stove jack put the pipe out screw all the pieces together uh, and then we're good to go and we're going to burn it today and see how it works so just wanted to show you that and i'll catch up with you guys a little later today Hey guys, Fred here of EE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcraft and Outdoors. It is Sunday today and I brought the stove out, stove pipe. I gotta go down to the truck and get the sand that goes inside the stove. And then we're gonna set up some of these rocks in here as a base for the stove. I'm gonna set it up here in the corner. All right, I'm gonna get some more rocks to put Along this edge to keep this edge down as well. And the stove's gonna go in here and the stove pipe will go out. And then we're gonna burn the stove off, uh, burn it out, all the stuff that's on it, oils and stuff that are on it from uh, when it was made. And we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna run down to the truck, grab a few more things, and then head back up. All right, so I took another trip down to the truck. Grab the rest of the stuff, the sand, my day bag. I've got the drill to put the screws in this piece, but I can go down and get that after. So I guess what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start hauling these rocks in. See if I can't lay them down for a base for <coughs> the stove and a stove will sit on top of these rocks so we're going to go inside and we're going to do that all right not sure how much you can see here but i started the stove installation um the front's got to come up just a little bit i need some more rocks for under the front raise the front up just a bit um we've got the first section of stove pipe going through the jack I've left it fairly tight the damper so what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the front end, find a few rocks, raise the front end, maybe throw something underneath this, and raise that front end up just a little wee bit. Yeah, because we're low, I think. Yeah. Bring it up about half an inch. All right, quick look here inside. The stove is in place, chimney's in place. Stove is fairly level. Uh, I don't think we have to worry too much about it. It's on the rock, so it's not sitting on the ground. Uh, should be all right. You can always level it off later again, just by putting some rocks underneath it. Once it's full of sand, it's gonna you know, level out just a little bit. The legs aren't the best of legs. All right, fairly level with our pipe. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some screws in three screws to hold the chimney in place made my own cap for the top I've yet to put some kind of spark screen in there I have to do that yet 
but for now I do have a spark arrestor on there I mean uh, just a reflector rain cap I made so I'm gonna put three screws in here and that'll hold that in place All right guys, this is the inaugural lighting. We have the chimney in place, damper in, stoves on the rocks. We'll pile some more rocks around it to help catch some heat during the winter time. We'll put some more rocks around the edge as well. There's sand in the bottom, to protect the bottom. Of course, once we get ash in there, it's gonna be great. This stove has the oven, has two caps, but we've gotta burn the stove off before we can sleep in here obviously uh, burn some of this stuff off of it and that's what we're going to do out of traditional i am going to use a match which is rare so i'm going to use a match to light it today and we'll watch this see how it goes i've got birch bark in here some twigs this does have a damper on the front as well or an air control here stove is still new so everything is tight right. obviously we're gonna get some smoke come off of it all right she seems to be taken off all right let's just see what we got here some smoke coming out of the stack which is a good sign obviously hard to see it but there is smoke coming out <laughs> hard to see now I turned it that way you know, hoping for that when the winds come up, it takes the smoke away. All right, so we've got uh, we've got smoke coming off the stove that's coming out of the tent because it does smoke. We have smoke coming out of the stack. And my deflector there, rain guard. I just closed the damper and the stove is hot. The little bit that I put in there already, she's hot. So it'll be interesting to see just how much that stove will heat it up in here in the winter time. Now once again, all the smoke that's in here is just the smoke that was on the stove. This is not an airtight stove by any means. Pipe's warm. You know, obviously it's warm around the... But, so far so good. I say I got a few things to adjust and fix but the stove by all means should be good where it is and again that's just some of the smoke from the stove trying to get out it's not the smoke from outside Now hopefully strong wind, I'm not sure how it will play on this stove pipe. I mean if I have to tie it off later I can tie it off to that tree there. 
and this tree here just tie it off into the trees but that's a beautiful sight right there yes sir and the fire jack is doing what it has to Nice. So it's just after four o'clock. I made good time setting up the stove, getting out here. Tent is still nice and taut from the other day when uh, James and I put it up. It is warm in that tent. I mean, it's warm outside today, but I mean, it's warm in there now with that stove going. You can hear the plane up there. They practice out here lots, the pilots. They do their stall maneuvers and everything else out this way. That's a look at the sun coming in through the door right now. What you see, once again, a look at the stove. It's burning extremely well. I will get a thermometer and put one up in here and just see how warm it actually does get in here. You can always seal this window off even a bit more come winter time. You know, try and seal it down. Want a bit of airflow though with the stove going, so we do have portable carbon monoxide detectors, so we're all right that way. So we'll get some rocks around here on Wednesday. Get some spray for some of these holes that we see Wednesday. It's supposed to be nice. Just prevent some leaks. All right, I'm gonna finish cutting up a bit of wood here. All right, so I'm cutting up some dry poplar. Poplar throws a lot of heat. You get a lot of heat from the poplar, just not a lot of coals. So, cut some poplar up here. The problem is the bark is usually wet, but the inside is usually nice and dry, especially if it's standing. Like the inside's nice on these. Anywhere from 8 to 10 inches long with the nut stove. Now you can load it either from the front or you can load it even from the top. Take the one <coughs> cover off. Lots of hunters out here today. They were like Four cars or trucks at the end of the road. Trailers for quads. I've heard some quads down the road already. Going by. So we got probably up over 13 degrees again today, probably closer to 16 again. So very strange fall weather. what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the stove burn itself out. Now that I've burned it in, Wednesday we're coming up here anyway, and we're going to burn it in some more. Put some rocks around the inside of the tent, keep the tent down, critters out. I mean, they can come in through the door, obviously. Uh, cut some firewood for the weekend. Uh, weekend game plan is Friday night, get out here, set up camp. I think 
We are sleeping under here. We're gonna set up the leaders. We're gonna just set up, sleep under here. No reason why not. We're gonna put a tarp over across here, put a tarp across here and some boughs and a few other things and sleep in here while the troops sleep inside the tent. We're gonna sleep out there, have the fire going outside, do what we wish and we'll be outside and then saturday we're gonna hike to the lookout it's an all-day hike so we need our day bags lunch everything else to go with it and we're gonna hike to the lookout during the day on saturday and then sunday uh, you know just pack up our gear in the morning after breakfast and we usually head out tent is gonna stay stove's gonna stay uh as you guys know this is where i spent my winter last winter down at the lean-to well lean-to is gonna be second fiddle now i'm gonna run this thing as long as i can i just got to put a note in here you know if anyone comes along they're more than welcome to use it just uh you know don't abuse it so i'll uh, catch up with you guys just before i take off here like i said i'm gonna let the stove burn out and then uh i'm gonna pack up my gear and i'm gonna head out as well so i'm gonna cut up a few more pieces here All right, one last look inside at the stove before we take off here. We'll be back here Wednesday. Hard to see, it's dark in here now. In the tent. All right, one last peek, and then we'll close the door up, load up, head down to the truck. I just stirred everything around in there, so there's just some coals in there burning. Um, we're good. Not even an ash or anything fell today onto the tent. So I think we'll be all right. We keep the wood dry. We shouldn't have to worry about popping and sparks and all the other stuff that goes with it. I will see yet about getting a spark arrestor for in there, a screen of some sort just to put in top. That's all it really needs. Um, but that's about it. So I think we're all set. So I'm just gonna close up the tent. It did get warm in there. Just keep everything from flapping around. Time change last night, so she gets dark a little earlier now. Sun setting back here. Not sure what time it is now, probably five o'clock. So by 6.30, she'll be dark. Yeah, it's quarter to five. So we're looking at highs of 13 and 14 all week. Friday going to drop down to 4. We'll be out here Friday night, Friday, Saturday. Minus 5 in the evening, but we've done that before, so that's not a problem at all. Yeah, 5.30 will be uh, sunset tonight. 
So another hour and a half, 5.30, and she'll be dark. So plus four on Friday, plus six on Saturday, down to minus five, which is still nothing. That's a normal, actually, for this time of the year. So we're way above that right now. All right. So with that, I just want to say uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks uh, to everyone who has subscribed. Those who hit the like button. I know we got a long way to go yet in our productions, but uh, you know we do this because we have fun, and uh, it's always good to stay prepared and uh, trained for sure. And I think we'll be happy this winter here with this setup. I think it's going to be nice to come up here and we'll see, of course, how the snow is going to, you know, stay on here if I have to. I do have a 15 or 14 by 20 white tarp that will just about go perfect over most of the tent. Uh, we can put it over top and because of the ridge poles and uh, the other, other poles we have here on the side, that should act um, almost like a tin roof and the snow should slide off and uh, keep some of the snow off the roof. But the way we've got her now, the way we've got her taught, if we keep it taught all winter long, we shouldn't have an issue with snow staying on there. Especially when I heat it up in there with the stove, it should, uh, should get warm in there as well. So, All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, share, like. Uh, you guys know the drill. But this is Fred of EE3FAL from Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. See you guys later. Thanks.